Ice. The Addendums is a horror anthology podcast and may not be suitable for younger listeners. Therefore, listener discretion is advised. World War II was the worst war to ravage the Earth, compounded by the introduction of magical warfare, brought under control by the Treaty of Wevelsberg in 1945. Following the end of the war, magical and technological integration offered a new dawn for humanity. This warm dawn was chilled by the Cold War, where magic was seen as a means of producing weapons of mass destruction. Following the fall of the USSR, Magical research exploded in scope and ambition. This is our brave new world. UK Times, Postler's Point, UK News Evening Opinion Show. So, this is what it is. We've been at the forefront of global development since time immemorial. The Industrial Revolution, the Dreadnought, the Internet, and let's not forget magic. We had the Druids before the Romans wiped them out. And whilst many say because there isn't any written evidence they can't exist, we all know our country has run ahead with magic for centuries. Just ask Merlin. But now, we've been told we must stop using it as the lefties are afraid will upset the migrants. Just like when we had to house economic migrants in hotels and barges, then forced them on good communities in run-down military bases. America still has an epidemic of gun crime, as does South Africa. It has even begun to creep into Europe with Sweden. But we have applied the threefold law of return to protect our citizens, where the very violent intent of the attacker is directed back at them. Of course, the spells fall short of being lethal, even if the attacker is trying to kill you, but it would definitely make them think twice. But now the government wants us to hand in our wands to not hurt other people. There are several magical traditions, and yes, they don't usually mix. But to stop our fellow citizens from defending themselves as migrants decide to come here isn't the way to protect us or them. They should learn our language, culture, and magic traditions. Over the past ten years of using the threefold law of return, there have been fifty deaths. Most of these terrible accidents from the results of the attacker being flung back in equal measure the force they were going to use attack I'll add. So those 50 deaths are suicide by magic. So if the government passes this law, who is going to look after us? Our armed police have shrunk and become much more specialised. Regular officers would have to go back to using tasers, which are inherently more dangerous and much less flexible than wands. So it seems this would send us backwards, not forwards. Therefore, I say we keep our wands and keep using them. If migrants attack British people, they will likely get burned, as mixed magics usually react badly to each other. But you know what? Just learn the prevailing magic school where you are. That way, you won't get hurt when everyone else uses it. If you scan the QR code on the screen, you will go to my new campaign, Keep My Magic. It's time to tell our government to look after our own with a law that has kept us safe for over seven decades, which allowed us to keep gunpowder firearms away from our people, using magic to nudge people in the right direction. A nudge that can be hard, I grant you. We need to keep our magic and wands. So please support us.